Mom's apple pie. We've got to save America from the Red Skull. Hulk smash skull! Huh? Hulk repents. That's why my red, white, and blue uniform is form-fitting, yet flexible. I love American ingenuity. I have some tracking to do. I'll keep in touch. Or not. Tony, let's get you back to Stark Tower and into something... Uh, less revealing. Oh, I have a great new outfit I put together the other day. Stark Tower dominates the Manhattan skyline as either a highly advanced technological research facility or a giant monument to its owner's ego. Depends who you ask. Did I ever tell you about my party armor? It was designed like a tuxedo for more formal battles. Honey, I'm home. What's with the hostile welcome? Jarvis, it's me. Your boss, man? Intruder alert. Security activated. Intruders? Jarvis, security override command Tango, Oscar Sierra 3963. We're gonna have to fight our way in. Someone must have hacked my systems. It's the kind of thing I do to other people. What the... Good afternoon everyone, it's Mike here, and um, welcome back to the latest part of my LEGO Marvel Super Heroes playthrough on the Xbox 360. Um, so we pick up the action with Captain America and Tony Stark as we are heading into Stark Tower, which has been hacked, and Jarvis has been turned against Tony. So we're going to have to fight our way through so we can get another Iron Man suit, and we'll start off with uh, me playing as Captain America, and Emma playing as Tony. Um, um, we're just currently attempting here to work our way past the protective lasers and towards the Mark 1 suit which is at the end of this corridor. So yeah this is a pretty cool level actually. You see a good chunk of uh, Stark Tower. Uh, as usual there was a couple of bits where we got lost and we got stuck so I've, uh, I've had to cut them out as we go through. Um, I'll point them out as we go though. Um, obviously I've left the solution in there. But you standard start of the level here, lots of stuff to destroy, lots of stuff to load, lots of studs to collect. Uh, I believe this level we do get True Believer. Um, so, you know, we're, we're succeeding on that one. Um, I really hope you're all enjoying this one. It's a, it really means a lot to people that are watching these. And I'm getting some good feedback. I'd love it if you could, if people could share this stuff around. Mash that like button. The more likes I get, the better it is for me. It makes my videos more visible, I get more viewers. You know, it makes it all worthwhile. I get to do more videos. It's just, yeah. So hit hit the like button if you're enjoying what I'm doing. If you're not enjoying what I'm doing, don't hit the dislike button. That's just me. You know, call me out on it. <laughs> send me a message or send me, hit me, get me on Twitter, which is um, at Gadget Addicts UK, or Facebook, which is the Gadget Addicts. Um, right. So by hitting that switch there. You then set off a sequence on these lasers, just keep an eye out for when they're, they're going, just do take them one at a time. Uh, you'll notice that silver thing up there, we, you need a Tony suit for that. Uh, and as Captain America gets through the last one, I don't know what I was doing, I th yeah I thought I could hit that, but no it's a Tony Stark one. Uh, when you get through here, I think we trigger the security. Which is perfect for Captain America because of course he can defend against lasers. Now you notice actually that the split screen isn't flipping around here because we're on a kind of straight left and right area. There's re no real point for it to do that. So all you do is you get the Captain America shield and you bounce the laser back towards it. Until it dies. It's dead. It's gone. And then you have some parts that you can build. Which gives Tony another switch to use. Although Emma seems to be intent on making him jump in the electricity to get all the studs. Hit that one, Tony, and you get this little robo thing. Now, don't make the mistake that we did. That Emma did by um, thinking it just goes all the way up the stairs. It doesn't. It comes out at that gap there. And Captain America seems to be content to jump around. It, was, it took a little while to, for Emma to work out the controls. 
then to actually work out where it has to go, and it comes out here. Just land it down here, and boom. Opens up the door, and you can get the suit. Which, if you remember the first Iron Man film with Robert Downey Jr., this is the Mark I suit. This is the one he built in the cave. Much better. A little old fashioned by my standards. So you can't fly in it, but you can sure as hell shoot everything in sight. And you can still get electrocuted and explode. Aldra Killian. I think he was in Iron Man 3. He was the one that was actually the Mandarin. I believe. And apologies if I've just spoiled Iron Man 3 for anybody, but hey, oh, it was the big twist in the film. <laughs> I won't explain how it happens. Watch the film, it's good. Most of the internet hates on it. Uh, so then you, you have to throw the Captain America shield in there. And it unlocks the force field and you can beat the crap out of everything. So you're generally chasing all the kill you all the way through this level. The various facets of their Star Tower. But, as well as the Mark 1 suit, you do unlock a cool new suit for Tony. You unlock the Mark 42 suit, which allows you to do some severe damage. So you hit the lift, and then you head up. Rebooted, resuited. So Killian can uh, send these send soldiers in like that through these yeah, portals. It seems to seems to really come through the floor. Right? So how many of you watching have entered my competition to win a copy of this? Hope you all have. It's worthwhile. If you, I'm assuming if you're watching this you haven't actually played through the game. Uh, so, yeah. By all means, please enter. Put the link to the, vi uh, to the video with the competition instructions uh, in the description. As I did with the last video. Uh, and apologies at the rate these are going up. My internet at the minute is shockingly bad. Uh, I'm getting upload speeds in the kilobits per second rather than the megabits per second. So it's taken on average about three days per video to upload. Um, this video I'm trying something differently. I'm going to try and upload it from my phone uh, on the three on the 4G network. I'm an E 4G subscriber, um, and I'm hoping that by a, I've I've got a massive data allowance. I've got a 20 gig data allowance every month. So I've got 16 gig left to run me to, I think, the 2nd of June. So I'm going to try, once that, when when it's this video's time to go up, I'm going to try and upload this over 4G, um, and just see if that gets it out any quicker, just while Sky are working on my broadband. Uh, I really, really want to get on the BT Infinity, uh, but I just can't afford that. Absolutely can't afford that. Um, so, I don't know what to do. Really don't know what to do about that. Kind of got stuck here, didn't know where to go. Oh yeah, it's the panel at the back. It's not very well signposted, that. So yeah, welcome to the point where hopefully I'm making regular money through YouTube, uh, more subscribers getting such what, and I'll be able to get a better internet package, uh, I'll be able to try and get the fiber optic, and I'll be able to get videos up to you much, much faster. So I mean, to, I was hoping to have had this all uploaded by now, and, you know, over the space of maybe... Fortnite have have everything live and published. Uh, there's 15 parts in total, and this is part five. So it's taking two weeks to get to part five. It's not not pleasant at all. But there's nothing I can do. It's problems with the line. And I reported it to Sky last week, and they haven't done anything. So I need to talk to them. But hey ho, you never know. With the I might be able to get a video out quicker. Although it's not a guaranteed thing. Uh, right, okay, so this section here we got lost at. Because um, you need to open that lift for Iron Man. So I'm going to transition here. 
because uh, there's a door you can blow open with Iron Man, just to the back there. So we'll transition to the point where I've worked out what to do, which is the switch you have for Captain America, you double jump and he automatically grabs onto it. And that then enables the lift, and Iron Man can get his way up there, because obviously Mark 1 suit couldn't fly. It's, it's, it's amazing how much you um, you realise you rely on a character's abilities until they're taken away from you. <laughs> the lift is more of a jet air, but... Uh, right, so to progress through this part, once Emma's is done destroying everything in sight... Um, come on, come on, yeah, there's a silver thing on the back wall there. Uh, it needs to be completely destroyed. And then you can uh, progress it. It's a bit finicky getting this half of it. As you can see with me, I'm just kind of hopping around in there. This looks quite funny, actually. But you need to destroy it before you can go any further. Come on. Destroy. There we go. Locked on. That gets that, destroys the fan, and then we can progress further. And these guys seem to be just hell bent on destroying Tony's lab. So there's the hint of what you got to do. You got to reverse that switch. And once you've dealt with all the henchmen, of course. <laughs> Excuse me. Captain America can't use that yet because it's not to use. But when you un when you turn the switch, it'll set the beamer tank coming off. So Iron Man destroys these two, which opens the wall, and then Captain America can jump from side to side and work his way up there. Eventually, I get there. <laughs> no, you need the hook to open that bit. Boom, 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 boom. Need Tony totally Stark to pull that up. This point, I was yelling instructions to Emma, and then I kind of reasoned that this is what's going to happen. Yep, laser beams. So we use them to charge up each side of the door. Took me a second to realise. And once the door is charged up, the lasers will stop. And you can progress further. Very opulent laboratory that Tony Stark happens to have. And another laser that he's defending against. You just hold, hold B with Captain America. This advert, so we just kind of get the beam to come back in and attack the laser itself. Or he should be sitting on the platform. Do I go back to the platform? Go back. Go to the game again. Yeah, this really should be on the platform, but I think I just managed to get it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Come on. And it's gone. And then you get to build. One one thing about doing free play is we've unlocked um, uh, fast build, which is um, particularly helpful when you replay through the levels because it saves you so much time when you're building. In fact, I really should have just recorded us doing free play. You still get all the story points, but you can play as any character. Uh, right, so we're in the Jarvis control room here, and as you can see, there's a couple of uh, power points here. And plenty of uh, 
plenty of henchmen to kill. I'm not sure what Emma was doing as I imagine she seemed to be quite stuck. I mean, I'll get the time to look at Shield switches. Which I hadn't noticed before, but they're over there by the power points. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Lasers are going to fix Jarvis, but they don't. Conveniently, it powers up one for us. So all we have to do is divert the one beam. Helpful and time saving. And Jarvis is back and he's good. Requesting immediate deployment of Mark 42 suit. Time to suit up. Now watch this. See Iron Man three. <laughs> Try using your laser to cut Mark forty two. Now this one has a laser cutting beam. That allows you to cut and destroy through gold walls, and basically all you have to do is just trace the outline of it. How cool is that? Seriously, how cool is that? So all those gold walls that you've seen up to this point, you now know can be opened by Tony Stark. box there. Yeah, yeah, when it comes to gold items you've kind of got to fire the laser at them and heat it up. And I forget what we do here. Oh, the, the lift. Oh, the arc reactor. Arc reactor storage access granted. Mandarin. <laughs> Loki, stand down! My insincerest apologies, but I need a source of high power at low cost. Well, you are stealing from the best. That's not the only thing we've stolen. Where are you going? Never trust a demigod. And time for a, mu a multi layered boss fight on top of Stark Tower. What was the best kind of boss fight? Now, this one's largely based around beating the bad guys and then taking the boss. So, it's wave upon wave. Fairly simple. The complexity comes a little bit later on when uh, the Mandarin decides to <laughs> take on matters in just like more extreme fashion. So you just kind of have to catch him, I think. Now here's a little fun fact. Is, did you know the guy who does the voice of Loki? Um, and I found this out the other day when I was looking around on the wiki while we were looking for secrets. The guy who does the voice of Loki is Troy Baker, who did the voice of Joel in The Last of Us. Now can you think of two more vastly different voices for one person to do? And that's fantastic, I think. Uh, Nolan North does some voices in here as well, and the you know the well-respected guy does voices in every game. 
the point where in 2011, I think the only major AAA game he hadn't done a voice in was uh, Skyrim. And as soon as the modding community started up, uh, Valve put in um, the cores from Portal 2 into there, so there was Northern North patched into the game. <laughs> okay, so we've got the uh, killing devil two hearts. So yeah, let's just keep attacking, keep attacking, keep attacking. There's no real tactic to this bit. Just keep attacking until he's gone. Very simple. The complexity comes in actually hitting him. There is still no such thing. Oh yeah, the Mandarin pops up from time to time. If that happens, then just the other player has to whack him. And he'll disappear. And then you get to kill him. There we go, that's the time. Actually, considering the size of the arena here, I would have actually preferred if we could have had the dynamic split screen for this fight. Because it, it makes it really, really difficult. It's kind of, you've got this narrow perception that keeps zooming in and out. It would be better if we just have like, one wide screen with us both on. But that's just me. Wait for Killian to reappear. Actually, the man can reappear. There he is. And then Killian will reappear, and boom, he's done. So now it's the actual fight with the Mandarin. Now, this one's pretty epic. So he's taking on the. Um, what's it, what's it, the heavy buster armor or something like that? He's one of Tony Stark's bigger suits. So now we have 40 henchmen that we have to deal with before we can even consider attacking the Mandarin. So this one's a bit of a frantic race to the end, so we've got to destroy, just get rid of all the henchmen who will come in waves. Uh, you've seen the counter in the center there, uh, underneath the True Believer stood counter. There we go, True Believer. 20 left. Do -do -do. 14, 13. Airborne fire. This bit's much easier with two people. I, I assume if you're playing with this would be right up here. Uh, the problem is when you're playing with both Iron Man and Captain America, the key target is the Mandarin. Right, so now it's a case of just attacking him. So attack the Mandarin, do as much damage as possible, and eventually Tony Stark will, will uh, bring in some help. Form of the other suits. This is very much like the battle of the end by Man 3, don't you? Don't you think? So you can I mean you can keep attacking him if you want, but you'll largely do no difference. It's a little kind of script moment here that um, the other suits will come in, they'll attack him, he'll eventually destroy them all, leave him with a tiny bit of health, and then you've just got to uh, destroy him. To do that, it's quite simple. It takes a minute to work it out. But the actual active duty is quite simple. Only a couple of things left. So, it's pretty epic to be fair. Right, okay, so we're back in split screen, we're back in control. Right, now it took us a, a little while to notice, we thought we could just keep attacking. I don't know where Emma's gone, she's way out of the way. Um, so it's Captain America, I'm firing up at him and it's doing him no damage whatsoever. It took me a little while, a minute to realize there's actually something to build here. I think the pennies drop with us. Nope. <laughs> uh, I, I swear on my next game I'm going to get back and do the live commentary because this is just kind of embarrassing me. There I go. Um, not remembering what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Um, we did just really long solid playthroughs of this. Uh, so the Captain America shield starts this machine up. And then it does this. Epic slow mo. A 
brings the Mandarin suit down. And then, do you remember what we said before about Gould? The shiny Gould on his back, that's the key that Iron Man will come in. Again, it took us a few seconds to realise this. And we will get there eventually. I keep trying to attack him, and Emmett, yeah. We get there. <laughs> yeah, so the missiles won't do it, it's got to be the laser. See, we're getting stuck on these puzzles, so you don't have to. It's not really a puzzle, we're just, just not paying attention. Oh, come on! Yes, there we go, the laser. Which is a pain in the ass to target on half a screen, I can tell you that much. And there he's done. So, like my suit? I have a soft spot for the oldies. Oh. <laughs> Why is it my tower can never stay in one piece? And there we go, rebooted, resuited is done. So that's part five of this playthrough complete. So who do we get for this? We got Iron Man Mark 1. Iron Man Mark 42, which is the best one in the game, that's what we played through for most of it. Tony Stark himself. Aldrich Killian. The Mandarin. We get any more? I don't think we got any more. No. Uh we hit True Believer. We didn't get Stan Lee in peril. Um so yeah, so we've got two gold bricks for this one. But thank you for watching. Uh, please do subscribe. Please hit my competition. Please hit that like button. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next part, which should hopefully be coming in the next couple of days. Goodbye.